guys, and welcome to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Now, before we get started, I want to send out a heartfelt shout out to our good friend Tristano TGV over at the Urban Gentry channel. Uh, you know, recently, if you're part of the group, you might have noticed uh, the new post, and you know, he uh, is going through a little health issue right now, nothing super serious, but I just wanted to give him a shout out and say, Get well soon, buddy. Can't wait to shoot another video with you. So, what are we going to talk about today? Today, I figured we'd talk about the Breitling B01 in-house chronograph movement. Some say the best chronograph movement on the market today. Now, what am I wearing? Quick wristwatch check. Uh, today, I'm wearing the Seiko SKX, um, you know, with the Pepsi, Pepsi bezel. Perfect for summer. I've still got it on the Jubilee bracelet. I was going to wear the Breitling in honor of this video, but, you know, once again, it's on an alligator band, and I don't want to ruin it uh, and sweat through it. So, the Breitling B01 movement. This is Breitling's first in-house chronograph movement, and it was developed about four, four years ago. Breitling, as you may know, is a very aviation-centric, chronograph-heavy brand. And before that, they used the Breitling Caliber 13, which, as I'm sure many of you know, is actually a Valju 7750, which is chronometer certified and modified by Breitling. Nothing wrong with that. However, when uh, the industry started moving away from using Etta's, especially because Swatch Group started controlling the supply, Breitling decided to make an in-house chronograph movement. And after five years of development, they finally came out with one, and that is the B01. Now, what are some key technical features of the B01? Well, first off, it's a column wheel chronograph with a vertical clutch. This is very much unlike the Etta, which is a cam system. Vertical clutch is just a very, very smooth operation, and most column wheel chronographs are considered very, very high end. It's also got 47 joules and a 70 hour power reserve. Breitling have achieved this by creating a flat mainspring and they only use one barrel to get these 70 hours of power reserve. Very, very impressive. The movement is also one of the first movements out there to feature a five year warranty. And this is the main reason why a lot of brands have been pushing for the five years lately. Breitling innovated this practice. Rolex, before this movement came out, was only a two-year warranty, but to keep up with the competition, they also switched to five years. The movement is also very, very sturdy and designed, um, you know, not it's not so much a delicate, intricate movement, but it's very, very sturdy, perfect for a sports watch, and it boasts an extended service life. So Breitling says the service intervals are much further apart than normal Eddas. The B01 started its life in the Chronomat line, but it quickly moved to the Navitimers and the Transoceans. Very, very uh, broad range. All chronographs, but one is very, very sporty, you know, with screw down pushers. The Navitimers, of course, an icon, and the Transocean is a vintage inspired dressier piece. The B01 is also the base movement for the B04 and the B05. The B04 adds a GMT function and the B05 adds a world time function. Now this is a very solid movement and some are calling it the best sports chronograph movement out there today. Better than the Daytona and better than the El Primero. Yes, the El Primero beats at 36,000 beats per hour. However, it's not quite as durable as, um, as the B01. And the Daytona, well, honestly, that's a fairly unspectacular movement. It's not a bad movement. It's got the Paraflex hairspring, and, you know, it's, it's made by Rolex, so it's, it's very solid, but it's nothing extraordinary, to be honest with you guys. This movement has changed a lot. You put a column wheel and vertical clutch, something reserved usually for more delicate and more elegant movements, into a sports watch movement. You add the crazy power reserve, and then you also add the five-year warranty. Can't lose. Also, if you guys look at the B01 Cornomats, they're 500 meter water resistance. That's pretty insane. Talk about dive watch mixed with a chronograph. 
Anyway, Breitling, you know, it's not for everybody. I don't love most of their stuff. I think it's a little bit too busy for me. I do currently own a last-gen caliber 13 chronomat. But one thing that cannot be argued is this movement is spectacular. So if you guys are in the market for a sports watch with a chrono, it should be considered the Breitling B01 should be on the list. Oh, and of course, I haven't mentioned, it's automatic. <laughs> Now, guys, what do you think of Breitling's new lineup? Are you a fan? Let me know. Also, check out the description below for a link to my Instagram account, and don't forget to thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it. It really does help. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We are having a giveaway for the 10,000 subscribers, and hopefully it should only be about a month, month and a half away. Once again, to my good friend TGV, get better, man, and I will see you soon. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around for another episode of Federico Talks Watches, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.